and welcome back. Today we are going to work with acrylics and learn to paint rays of In this painting my goal was to, is to create and show you how to paint a sun rays coming in between the clouds. But to show that I thought I have to do a basic uh, landscape a cloud painting first. So I am doing that right now and uh, I'm not going to go into great details or try to make it look really really pretty and nice and tight um, for the background landscape because uh, my goal is to just show you how to paint the ray of light but eventually came out pretty nice not like my best landscape but I, I like it the overall feel so you can see that I'm creating the sky first and I started off with the blues uh, in the skies first and then as I gradually came down towards the horizon I added pinks and yellows and oranges next I am doing the hills and I am working from backwards to forward so the farthest layer of hills started first and they you can see are much more hazier very light shade of mauve almost mixing um, with the horizon hard to define because I wanted to create a lightly misty look not a lot of mist but a little bit of misty look and that is how you show what that the farthest things are not that prominent and the things that are closer to you are much more prominent as you can see that as I'm coming more and more forward I'm adding more and more bolder brighter colors like now I'm using more of my purples and blues to lay down first and when I come back with details I will add more details in the front areas because that is how you create um, the impression of depth added some greens and browns to the foreground now I'm going back to the background hills and mountains and defining them a little bit more like I said all of this uh, work that I'm doing on the background is just so that I can create a landscape or at least an impression of a landscape to be able to sh demonstrate how to paint the rays of light if I wanted to paint a really nice landscape I would probably be much more tighter and make sure all my brush strokes are in the right place and the colors are much more true hype up more contrast but this is not the case so now on to the clouds as you can see that when I'm starting off I'm using using a filbert brush and using blues and purples to create the general outline of where my clouds are going to be there is a lot of brush strokes in my clouds right now and it does not matter because I'm going to add a lot of more layers on top of the clouds. It's just not going to be one single layer of paint and then I'll come back with rays of light which will hide a lot of these clouds anyways. So um, a little bit of brush stroke here and there. In fact a lot of brush stroke here and there doesn't matter because most of them are getting covered one way or the other. Now one important thing about painting rays of light is that you will need two different kinds of paints. One should be transparent and the other should be translucent so or opaque. Or like in this case I am going to use whites. So I am using titanium white for my opaque white right like right now I am putting around the clouds is the titanium white which I want to be opaque and when I want that transparent look I will go to the heavy body mixing white transparent mixing white paint from Liquitex heavy body range so those two things are important that you need the same color one should be a little um, opaque and the other one should be pretty transparent and most of the time the whites would work because this is ray of light you can add a little bit of yellow to it sometimes as you can see the first thing that I'm creating after generally laying the laying out of the clouds is that putting a lot of white paint kind of almost dabbing a lot of white paint and this is my opaque titanium white paint around the clouds and once I will put them down more or less in the right area, I will fan them outwards. But right now, let me define the clouds a little bit more before I start working on the rays of light. 
And a fun thing, funny thing to note here is that when I'm starting off, I'm actually creating rays with the darker color because when you see rays of light coming back or coming in between the clouds there you will see that they come down in light colors as well as dark colors so it's important that when you're pulling down the white colors make sure that in between the whites or uh, lighter colors of rays that you are creating there should be darker colored rays as well that is what will create the natural look the look that you see in nature when the rays of light come out through the sky. I'm planning to do a little bit of surreal kind of landscape painting soon where I will use this ray of light techniques. I thought it's better that I first do a tutorial demonstrating how I paint rays of light. That would be helpful. And with spring coming up, I'm sure you guys will all create a lot of landscape or landscape backgrounds for your figurative paintings like I do. And for that, uh, this these ray of lights would be really nice because um, now that it's finally winter is over, it would um, be like rays of light coming out uh, behind the clouds and sunshine. These will be more common and more available in the nature. I'm coming back to the foreground a little bit, defining the darks and lights just a little bit, like hyping up the contrast a little bit. It's kind of like, um, not that I really need to finish up this painting, but I always feel that if you have started a project, it should be at a certain point at least before you call it done, even though it is kind of a demonstrational piece and I don't want a great completed painting. Now I am coming back with a flat brush, flat angular brush, and this is where I am using my transparent mixing white. And I am laying the transparent mixing white first on the edges of the cloud and then pulling the edge of the flat brush downwards. When you use this transparent mixing white, what it does is that it creates the lines but does not cover everything that is behind the lines. So it is kind of transparent rays, which the rays mostly are. So you want a combination of transparent rays through which you can see the background and opaque rays through which you cannot see the background and darker rays, which are kind of like the darker colors in the sky. So there will be actually three different kinds of lines for the rays. One, the transparent white lines, then the opaque white lines, and the darker lines in between to make the contrast pop up and give a more naturalistic look. Now you can see that I am going the other way around. So I'm laying the paint on, on the surface of the hills are the edges of the hills and then pulling them upwards. That way I'm creating constant continuous lines which are kind of more prominent. And with that, I come to the end of the painting. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know with a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.